Hello everybody and welcome to PlayStation Access. My name is Ash and today I'll be getting you ready for one of the biggest PS5 games of the year. With September creeping up on us like a particularly aggressive click-up, it is time to get you up to speed on The Last of Us Part 1, Naughty Dog's comprehensive remake of Ellie and Joel's original story. While you might think you know what to expect from a game you'll almost have certainly played before or at least have heard of, there are plenty of important details you might not know about this new version. From how the PS5 is giving Naughty Dog the platform to build the game it always wanted to make, to the new modes and unlocks that have been added to this version, here are 21 things you need to know about The Last of Us Part 1 before you play. Number 1. The Last of Us Part 1 is a remake, meaning the game has been fully rebuilt to take advantage of the PlayStation 5's power. We'll be getting on to just how comprehensive Naughty Dog's reconstruction efforts have been, but this is absolutely the definitive version of their masterpiece. In fact, number 2, The Last of Us Part 1 supports both 4K and 60 frames per second gameplay. You'll have a choice of graphical modes, there's native 4K and 30 frames per second or dynamic 4K and 60 frames per second. Whichever you choose, The Last of Us has never looked better. That's also because, number 3, the power of PS5 has allowed the team at Naughty Dog to add in a boatload of graphical flourishes that make this one of the most sensationally detailed games on PlayStation. This includes redesigned character models, which have been tweaked all the way down to the depth of characters' pupils, to improved facial animations that are closer to the original performances from the actors. Number 4. Another technique that's been used to make The Last of Us Part 1 feel even more lifelike is motion matching. This animation technique focuses on matching a movement to hundreds of animations, giving Joel and Ellie a smoother feel as they try to survive their journey. Number 5. It is not just character models getting a new gen glow up. The PS5 also allows for more environmental detail, with game director Matthew Gallant highlighting in a recent video the amount of bumpables, chippables, breakables, and downright destructible objects in a scene. The result is a world that feels like it's reacting realistically to what's happening around you, which is usually a volley of bullets heading your way. Number 6. The Last of Us Part 1 also supports seamless transitions from cutscenes to gameplay. That's because the models used in the cinematics are now the same ones used in gameplay, giving the action an even better flow. Number 7. To go along with all the work done on the character models, the game's locations have also been subtly redesigned, with creative director and writer Sean Eskaig revealing that all of the game's environments, from the mountain town of Jackson to the rooftops around the Capitol building, have been redesigned to help enhance the feeling of exploration. Number 8. Of course, The Last of Us Part 1's improvements don't begin and end with the visuals. One of the key updates to the game is the enemy AI. Building off the already brainy AI of The Last of Us Part 2, these villains are smarter when it comes to communicating with each other, knowing how to flank and how intensely they will press the player. Basically, running and gunning isn't going to cut it when taking on this bunch of smarty pants. Number 9. Fortunately for us, our pals AI has also received a tune-up. Whenever you have allies along for the fight, they'll know when to move thanks to a software technique called Future Exposure, where they can predict when an enemy will look in a few seconds' time and move themselves quickly to avoid being in their line of sight. Moving on from AI, number 10 is 3D audio. This inbuilt PS5 feature is tailor-made for The Last of Us Part 1's immersive world. With this technology, and a compatible pair of headphones, you'll be able to pinpoint where threats are coming from, which could be the difference between survival or Joel getting turned into a clicker's dinner. Number 11. The DualSense wireless controller also brings benefits thanks to the haptic feedback. There are various moments enhanced by this new tech, from the feel of punches being thrown during fistfights, the rumbles from creating new weapons at revamped workstations, or the gentle brush of a giraffe's neck hair. However, one specific example worth highlighting is, number 12, the shotgun haptics. Weapons in The Last of Us have always packed a punch, but are taken to another level here. From the way each movement of the pump shakes your controller, to the little audio clip coming through the built-in speaker, the shotgun promises to be a true powerhouse. Just be careful where you point that thing. And number 13, don't forget the adaptive triggers! One of the best examples of how this enhances combat comes from the bow. The triggers feel tighter the further you pull the string, the increasing resistance matching the bow's tension. And when you're ready to let fly, those triggers ease up, as if they're snapping back to their original state. You couldn't get any more immersive short of asking a friend to stand in the corner and make clicking sounds whilst you play. 
Number 14, one of the biggest strides forward in The Last of Us Part 1 is the increase in accessibility options, so more people than ever can experience this seminal tale. Altogether, there are over 60 accessibility options to help players tailor the game experience to their individual needs, with one such example being the high contrast display that sees allies and enemies highlighted in bold colours to aid players with low vision. There's also a major accessibility option we want to highlight for number 15, audio description. The Last of Us Part 1 has audio description built into the game itself, allowing fans who are sight impaired to enjoy the game at its immersive best, with a narrator describing scenes in rich detail. Her eyes wander to Joel. She steps past the couch. He wears the wristwatch Sarah gifted him, which now has a cracked face. Number 16. There are also additions to the game itself. First up, you can expect new render modes, which will shake up how the game looks. Considering some of the eye-popping filters you could put over The Last of Us Part 2, we cannot wait to see what visual surprises Naughty Dog will spring on us. Number 17. If more pain in this already incredibly painful story is what you're after, then you'll be pleased to hear The Last of Us Part 1 is getting a permadeath mode, which means that if you die, your game is over. Our thoughts are with anyone who attempts this Herculean challenge. Number 18. The speedrun mode is not quite as daunting. This addition makes it easier for players who are trying to see how quickly they can make it through the story. Number 19. There's also an evolved photo mode, with plenty of expanded options to help you create some seriously stunning snaps. If it's as exhaustive as the one we used in The Last of Us Part 2, it will definitely be a struggle to make it out of the opening chapters. Number 20. To round off the new additions, there's also a new model viewer, which allows you to really see the phenomenal detail that went into putting the game's remade characters together, as well as new costume and lockables for Ellie and Joel, so you can give them a splash of new style. Number 21. In another added bonus, the original DLC expansion, The Last of Us Left Behind, has also been given the same love and attention as the original game and is included in The Last of Us Part 1. This prologue gives us an early insight into Ellie's life, as we play through the time she and her friend Riley snuck into an abandoned mall. It is every bit as affecting as its bigger sibling, and we cannot wait to see our timeline fill up with share snap photo booth images all over again. Oh, and finally, a bonus entry! You don't have to wait too much longer to play this comprehensive remake, with The Last of Us Part 1 arriving on PS5 from the 2nd of September. We're sure you can endure and survive until then. And there you have it! 21 things you need to know about The Last of Us Part 1 before you play. Let us know in the comments what moment you're most excited to revisit when Joel and Ellie make their PS5 debut, and make sure to give us a like if this video has got you ready for the game's launch on the 2nd of September. Subscribe and click the notification bell if you haven't done so already, and join us again soon for loads more from the world of PlayStation. Thanks for watching.